start by saying something. It sure feels good to be back in the kitchen on Cooking with Conrad. All right, today I'm going to show you an alternative to the hamburger and hot dog query of the barbecue. We're going to show you a seafood dish I like to call Super Slammin' Summer Salmon, or better heard, Super Salmon Summer Slammin'. Super Salmon Summer Slammin'. Okay. And in the first step of doing the Super Slammin' Summer Slammin' is to create a brine. So we're going to start that with adding just one cup of water into a little dish over here. Then we'll sprinkle in half a cup of salt. Real nice. Half a cup of sugar. I'll make sure that gets mixed around real good. A few sprigs of dill, a few sprigs of cilantro. Then we'll get a small shallot, slice that up real nice. It's okay if you don't get all of the shallot in there. Just need a few pieces. <laughs> okay, that's enough of it. We'll slide that in. Looking good. Then we'll take one of our two garlic cloves. I'm gonna smash that up to really get some good flavor. Oh yeah, it's easy to do when you got a big knife. We'll throw that first one in. Good. Now the second one really releases those flavors and smells. You can smell the garlic. Then our last ingredient before the salmon is half of a lemon or a lime for zest. We'll leave that in there too. I will dunk this bad boy on a little Alaskan salmon if you can. Try to make it wild caught, even better for you. Put that in there, rub it around real nice. I'll take some of the ingredients, slap it on top. Looking good. Spin it around. Now it's cooking. Now we're cooking. All right, then we'll find a nice spot in the fridge to keep it in for two to four hours. It's a really good way to get all of those flavors to, to really get into it, make it a real succulent salmon. In the meantime though, let's go get that grill started up. All right, follow me. All right, now that we're outside, let's go ahead and get this fire started. I'm gonna use a little starter kit. So I've already put some newspaper underneath that I'm gonna light after I dump some of this charcoal. bring it over here first step is bring in all that goodness off of the fish and place in the fish right on our plate over here so that we can dunk our plate in or our plank in we got a cedar plank here it's gonna be good for getting all those extra juicy flavors so we want to make sure we spread that around a little bit both sides really soak up the flavor Other side. And now we're gonna go ahead and place that on direct heat just for a little bit of time until all of that uh, moisture gets evaporated, cooked up. So now that that's heated up a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and move over our plank off of the direct heat to slide our salmon on there too. All right, so it's been cooking for 20 minutes. I think it's about time we take it off the grill. Let's go and see how it looks. All right, looking nice. I recommend normally you use tongs or something like that, but I'm a real man. So I can go ahead and pick it up from the plate right there. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead, it is a little hot, a little hot. Loosen it up a little bit and it should just slide off. Right, and I have worked up quite a sweat since I've been out here, so let's go ahead and enjoy this on the inside. Come with me. It's time to try it out. Looks good, don't it? 
There you go. Get a little shot. Nice. Looking good. I'm going to go ahead and let it cool down just a little bit. You don't want to burn your mouth. It should come right off the skin and in the mouth. I'm actually surprised. It's delicious. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining me in the kitchen, and I'll see you next time. But until then, remember to train hard and rock harder. Thank <laughs> you.